in this pandemic can we ask where are you god does god hide from us in times like this when the world was still coping in the dark for weapons against the microbial world there was the smallpox assault for 12 years then came the worst catastrophe mankind has ever experienced the black or bubonic plague that killed more than 30 million people in the 14th and 17th century in the 20th century it was no longer bacteria that started wrecking havoc viruses had come and they began the influenza and swamp that also started the influenza pandemic which made wars with all its horrors and casualties less than death. Even before that period, influenza are filled with its young sister fever. Perhaps it was not yet fully discovered and understood then, rendered many a strong men weak and vulnerable. History has hinted that even Alexander the Great fell prey to that unrelenting master. Now in the 20th century, when the world has already been armed with the discovered medication that wiped out smallpox, viruses attacked, in the midst of the war in 1918, the Spanish flu outbreak killed 400,000 German civilians, 228,000 Britons, 450,000 Americans. The worst hit country at that time was India because their doctors were serving with the British Army. So in that year, 1918 alone, 16 million people in India died. The 1918-1919 flu pandemic infected 500 million people, resulting to 40 million deaths, based on the World Health Organization report. There are many other outbreaks the world has experienced. There is the Ebola virus disease, first discovered in 1976 in the Ebola River in what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo. The origin of which the Western virus is found only in non-human primates and pigs in Africa and the Philippines. It can be transmitted to humans through direct contacts and with infected body fluids. Total deaths from Ebola virus disease reached 11,315 and no proven cure has been discovered yet. In 1957, a new influenza A H2N2 virus emerged in East Asia, triggering a pandemic called Asian flu. It was reported in Hong Kong, Singapore, and the United States. The estimated number of deaths worldwide was 1.1 million. In spring of 2009, a novel or new influenza occurred. It was called H1N1 flu also called swine flu because it could be caught with the direct contact with pigs. The spreading of pasta across the globe that the World Health Organization called it a pandemic. There was another H3 antivirus or 1968 pandemic that claimed 1 million lives worldwide. All these three represent the antigenic types of influenza A virus. The severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS in 2002 and 2003, was caused by a coronavirus that made the species jump from bats to humans through the intermediate host of farm civet cuts bred for human consumption in China. This led to more than 8,000 infections worldwide and killed close to 10% of those infected. Then there was the Middle East. Respiratory syndrome coronavirus or MERS-CoV outbreak. Camels may not to be blamed for this. All of these have caused fear to the people and mystery to the sufferers and their loved ones. But for sure it was not God who sent these. There might have been ills to the ways of the people in the world, along with the conditions of the land, the accompanying climate and environment that brought about these pandemics. But the question is, where is God in the midst of the suffering of the people? However, the past pandemics may not directly affect people of today because only a few perhaps have understood their extent. What they are concerned of are the hardships and suffering they have with the present COVID-19 pandemic. 
Where is God when hundreds, almost a thousand of people die in Italy, Spain, Britain, the United States in just one day? Where is God when most of the elderly are left in tents to die of COVID-19? Where is God when poor people lost their jobs and also the opportunity to feed their family? Where is God when a couple seemed to be inspirable ever since their wedding day, died some days apart and each felt all alone in a hospital bed during their dying moment? Where is God when a doctor who risked his life to save others not faces the moment he tried others to escape from? This question seems to hover over the minds especially of those hardly hit by COVID-19. Where are you, Lord, in cases like these? COVID-19 has literally changed life for the magic and marvel deity of the port of the Disneyland. Fun, indulgence, and frenzy have left casinos and clubs in New York City. Hollywood and entertainment outfits and sports groups temporarily have bummed off their glamour and glitz in favor of a more serious concern. All forms of vivacity and zest have evaded all public parks, shopping malls, tourist spots, and even churches. It made life literally stand still. By just reading headlines and intensive news and features, one is overwhelmed by the hardship, pathos, and tears of those involved in the happenings. Lockdowns and enhanced community quarantines have made life miserable to many people and rich people alike. Even innocent children have also felt the crunch. Some of the news reports that gripped my heart are those that told of hundreds, near a thousand of deaths in Italy, Spain, Britain, and USA in just one day. I cried as I read them and as I shared them through social media sites. I was also stricken with pity and grief for those elderly left to die in hospitals and tents. I also have felt the struggles of doctors and nurses, some of whom even succumbed to the virus. My heart is still bleeding for their respective families who couldn't even come near them in their dying moments. One of the sad reports that tugged not only my heart but also my spirit was the account about the Pamato couple from the Philippines who landed jobs in New Jersey and who died of COVID-19 days apart. Their daughter had wanted to be with her parents, but she had to follow the restrictions and the protocols in the hospital. I could feel the daughter's pain. I could empathize with her, even though I was just blessed to have been given by God a chance to be by the side of both of my parents their last breath. I was able to pray for them and guide them to ask God to take them to his kingdom. And I saw them die happily and peacefully. I know the Pabata couple was also with the Lord now. He rendered good service to others, both are health care workers. Their love story can be a stuff for movies. Married against their parents' will, they had been inseparable for 44 years. They died days apart. According to the daughter, each was alone on the deathbed. How the daughter wanted to comfort each of them, but she was constrained by the protocols. So we can just imagine the lonesomeness, the isolation, the grief. How much more the dead parent were cremated immediately without their family and friends paying respect to the departed. He can just whisper, Lord, where are you when they needed a companion? This question, where are you, Lord, in this COVID-19 pandemic is not asked by me. I just echo what the suffering ones have in their minds. As a Christian, I have an answer to that question which I will give you later. By making this post, I am not questioning God, why is this happening, even to good people? Because I know He did not send this pandemic. I would rather answer the question by providing details that God is around, and the manifestations of His goodness are evident if we only are sensitive to His dealings. We have to remember that even though the earth belongs to God, he has entrusted to us dominion or control of it when he commanded Adam to do so. Even though Satan took it by the sea, planet Earth, and the whole cosmos was redeemed by Jesus Christ. Only God has given us the free will, the only thing he can never touch, because he respects our individuality and freedom. 
It is one of the reasons happenings on this planet are under the management of the whole mankind. Things are determined by our doings, our decisions, and our free will. It's our prayer to God that He would heal our earth and remove COVID-19 from the land of answered because to some, He doesn't even exist. My answer to the first part of the question is yes, He will answer it. And of course, He exists. For some who do not believe God exists because He is unseen, why do they believe that COVID-19 exists even if it is also unseen? They can say that the suffering from the disease, the dying due to it, are signs and manifestations of the existence of the unseen virus. I will also answer that signs and manifestations of the traits of and feelings of God toward mankind have also accompanied them who believe. The disappearance of the smog and other pollutants from the atmosphere is a sign of healing of the earth through God's natural processes as established by His physical laws. Some people not leaving their homes due to lockdowns may have realized they need someone stronger as ever, as they tried everything but everything failed, so they have returned to God. So aside from physical healing of the body and the land, there is also the spiritual healing. God may have been with those who died of COVID-19 and known and unseen to others, but only to the dying. We can never judge whether the dead ones do not know and believe God or not. The good life led by many unsung doctor heroes and other champions in this pandemic is a sign that God directs and guides people. Only God teaches goodness. He is the source of truth, love, and grace. Others are just reflecting His principles. The dead may have had a silent reconciliation to God and glad acceptance of their end. Many tales of consideration, appreciation of services, unity and compassion have circulated the internet. Philanthropy and humane as are some of God's traits. Government units extending help to the poorest of the poor, even though they are not paying taxes, is a form of grace giving gifts to some who are not deserving. I can see the heart of God through the deeds of good people extended help to those affected by the disease and lockdowns. Philippine celebrities like Angel Luxin, Bella Padilla, Mami, Pacquiao, Gary Valenciano were among the first to have shared the blessings to the form of material things or spiritual encouragements to those affected by the pandemic. This accompanying repercussions. Many others followed suit. Kevin Love of Cleveland Cavaliers also shared God's compassion and he donated $100,000 to the workers and support staff at Twicken Loans Arena impacted by the pause and basketball games of the National Basketball Association of America. He said he is concerned with the level of anxiety everyone is feeling. That's the reason why he is donating. There have been many others who have done the same, so I extend my salute and appreciation. Jesus has resurrected and he has delegated his task of helping the needy through his children before his next coming. Another display of his care extended by one of his two children is the account of a pitiful man who walked along Mindanao Avenue near Trinoma in the Philippines. His out of work as an elevator maintenance crew no work, no pay basis. He was stranded in his temporary dwelling place and he had no way to go home to his two children in Nova Liches. And his wife was also locked down in Butuan due to quarantine restrictions. His children, aged 10 and 12, pleaded for him to go home. He had only 200 pesos left in his pocket. He just walked home, passing through Edsa, and his legs gave up. He slept outside Mega Mall. Half an hour later, he was walking again, hitched a hospital van to Kenson Avenue. Then minutes later, he crossed path with a true child of God by the name of Chom In Danon, a taxi driver. The man wanted to be dropped off anywhere and they would just walk again. But the driver carried him to a corner near the house and asked him, what would happen to him since he has no work anymore? The pitiful man answered he would try to make his remaining money meet their needs, but the man had only 200 pesos. 
a little less than four dollars to try for new in his heart how long would the money last but impulse he pulled up the thousand peso bill and handed it to the man apologizing that it was all he could offer with tears swelling up in his eyes the man stared in disbelief to chomp in diamond the latter panicked and choked in the voice loud enough to barrel through the lump in his throat Sir, baka magkaiyakan pa tayo para sa mga anak niyo yan. Or sir, we might find ourselves crying. That is for your kids. So, don't you see God's heart poured out through this incident? Another good child of God who displayed his compassion was a delivery rider by the name of Raymond Papillero, who collected his tips to buy some things to eat for the needy and the homeless and those affected by lockdowns. Whom he would pass by, even though he has also his family to feed. His generosity has not gone unnoticed. And when this good deed reached the company he is working for, Pitch Hot was given a cost incentive of 10,000 pesos. I could also see the protecting and providing hands of God in times like these. I experienced having been spared by God's sins from two fatal faults in which I could have had a fractured foot or a scratched skull, but I felt strong arms that carried me safely. I am greatly convinced he can hide me and protect me from COVID-19. As a senior citizen who has just retired from government service, I cannot say either that I have enough savings to carry me through the quarantine days and could make me confident not to suffer the effects of this enhanced community quarantine. The savings has been slowly used up and I know I could have even received some ameliorating pay from the government because they consider me a middle class citizen with low salary but couldn't qualify to be given some aid. I will be receiving a pension three years from now yet. However, I don't mind it because I know my God will never leave me nor abandon me and supply my needs, even my simple ones. I believe God answers prayers. And though some answers do not come instantly, 